Hi everybody. My name is Mario Johnson. Oh, um, G. Ortiz. Yeah, <laughs> um, today I'm gonna be talking to you all about gang violence and gang sign symbols and interpretations. Um, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, and I grew up in the um impoverished neighborhood on the south side of St. Louis. Um, I grew up around Bloods, aka Power Rules, and that's that. We I was around a lot of things that were not good for my environment, but I got to it. And in order for me to then see how it change, you see what I'm saying? It's gonna change to go down, okay? <laughs> but um but, but in order for me to talk about this, I was able to learn about both sides, both things. So this is the blood of the power rules, and this is the city for boys in the hood. Basically, gang signs and interpretations are different from every area you are in the United States. My voice is not right Um, it's different from in LA to Chicago to Florida to New York, DC. It's all different. It's different gangs, different cultures, different demographics. Um, so in St. Louis, where I'm from, we kind of got a lot of the stuff from Chicago. So we got like the Vice Lords, the um, Gangster Disciples. Stuff like that, so vice lords, JBL, bloods, stuff like that. So the signs I'm able to throw up are stuff that I was able to learn when I was young. So I want everybody to follow what I'm doing right now. So I want you to learn our little gang sign. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I want you all to learn how to spell blood with your hand, okay? So you gotta be right here, follow me. I'm going to do it. Say blood, say finger up right here. <laughs> Hold the You can throw your middle finger up and do PL. That'll be the B and the L. You follow it, so B, L, O right here. Right? And the O right here. Okay. And you have a D that spells blood. Mm -hmm. All right? You got it. See, there you go. I follow it. See, check out. Okay, well, I feel you. It's, it's very hard to learn at first. I see you in the back. Yeah. It's very hard to learn at first, but after you get used to putting your fingers in certain positions, to be able to understand it, then you be able to understand it. But um, gang signs and interpretations are in gang symbols such as blood, bees, that then are throwing your rival gang symbol down. It's all just symbols in which represent your gang or your affiliation to it, so it's hard to tell you from. Um, bloods were red and they bang with crips and they bang with lane kings all the time. Um, the neighborhood <coughs> I grew up, from, grew up in was the Joyce Project. Um, we kind of took in 
like the jet head noise with the projects, the projects, like stuff like that. So jet head, no head, <laughs> do your gang sign, whatever, or your color, or your rag. It is what it is. But it all it didn't start out like that. Just to let you all know. Um in Chicago, uh the Gangs of Disciples and the Vice Lords were actually for civil rights leaders and movements that were in Chicago. But it branched out into different chains and under different commands, under different leadership after their leaders went to jail and were locked up for trying to do something different for the community. Um, the Gangster Disciples were started, um, I want to say the right person there, by Larry Hoover. Have anyone ever heard his name before in a rap song? Mm -hmm. Big Meech, Larry Hoover, put in the work, hallelujah. <laughs> Who sing that song? Big Rock. Big Rock. Exactly. Now, I think I think Larry Hoover is going like a life sentence right now. But he started the um Gangster Disciples of the GGs that you hear about in Chicago that were Chicago very vicious. Um he didn't actually initially want the GGs to start out like that. He wanted to be about love, peace, prosperity in the community. But instead it branched out to be different things to where it is what it is today, where Chicago is one of the most dangerous cities in the country. And St. Louis is too. Um um, people, actually, um, there's also another game, the Vice Lords, and actually, if I'm saying the right person, mm -hmm. I don't know, there's so many people, but the Vice Lords are one of the top two uh, games in Chicago as well, and the person that started them also was with Larry Hoover, but he just went under the name of his name. Oh, Alfonso Alfred. There you go. Yeah, Alfonso Alfred and Bobby Gore. They were two different chains under the Vice Lords, but one person killed the other. And he's doing life as well, too. So that just didn't work out for either one of them. But um, their influences has also shaped a lot of things, such as music, as you all know, like Little Diddy, Little Dirk, G Herbo, Uncle Keith. They all rap about the Gangster Disciples and the Vice Lords in their city and in Chicago. And they are. Some of the most, well, I wouldn't say dangerous rappers, but most influential rappers, I would say, right now in the game. Because we all listen to them before we go to practice, while we in the way room, they get to the front. It's like about killing people, shooting people, <laughs> all that type of stuff. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. All right, then. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I mean, that is basically it about the games. I want to about the vice lords and gang violence. Some of the symbols I wanted to want to know that I didn't know how to throw, throw up and whatnot. And there's many more in different parts of the United States. This is just one part. So it's different from New Orleans, Louisiana, and all that type of stuff, to LA and everything. Does anybody have any questions? Or anyone want to know anything else that I don't know about gang violence? Nothing? <laughs> Ask me something. My cousin, uh, okay, I can show you this story. Um, my cousin is doing, got arrested for conspiracy. He is facing 60 years because uh, he was conspiring to distribute narcotics for one of the vice lords. But his branch of the one he was um, with is considered the Taliban. They call themselves the Taliban. Anybody else question? Are you in a game? No. Uh, <laughs>